Thank you, Devin. There's a lot of injuries in the NFL since the last time we had a show, and there's been a lot of big names. But now we're going to get on over to my favorite part of the show, which is our prediction segment. And I could not tell you for the life of me what our records is at this point. It's been a while. But yeah. So we're just going to go straight into it with Oakland traveling yeah. to Buffalo. I think this is going to be a great game, but what do you all think? Yeah, I could definitely see this as being a potential upset. Just uh, Buffalo has, has surprised me mm -hmm. personally uh, well this year. They have been playing well, but... Oakland, I think uh, the game last week is going to be that game that uh, kind of flips the stage for them, kind of sets the tone for the season. So I think Buffalo gives them a real scare, mm -hmm. but I think Oakland uh, squeezes out. I'm going to go bold and say Ooh. he goes to overtime. Wow, look at yeah. you. All right, what about you, Justin? Um, I'm going to agree with Joe here. I think Oakland's going to be riding a lot of momentum off of that win over mm -hmm. um, oh, who did they play? The Chiefs. <laughs> oh, the Chiefs. That's yeah. right. Um, that was a Really a uh, wild game for them. I think they needed that to boost their confidence a bit. I think they're going to go into Buffalo with their heads high, and I think um, Derek Carr will have a good game, and I think it'll be a pretty easy win for the Raiders. All right, well, I'm going to disagree with you guys. Oakland does not travel well when they come to the East Coast. They That's lost right. against the Redskins. They've lost to other teams. I think it's going to be a close game, but that defense for Buffalo is just pretty tough. So I'm going to have Buffalo taking that one at home. Now, uh, switching, now going to the other coast, uh, we got Houston and that high-powered offense <laughs> led by Deshaun Watson against the Seattle and the Legion of Boom. That's not so up to par so far this mm -hmm. year. Yeah, that seems to be kind of a common thing we talk about almost <laughs> every week. Um, you know, Seattle's defense isn't the, the Seattle defense we've come used to uh, the past few years. But Houston also lost, um, has some losses on their defense as well with mm -hmm. uh, J.J. Watt. Um, and that, again, like you said, that offense is, uh, they, they can put up a lot of points. Mm -hmm. But I, I do think that um, Seattle has a slight talent advantage. Mm -hmm. And just with, I don't see a rookie quarterback going into Seattle and um, pulling off that win. So I think, again, this could also be a close game but Seattle pull it up. Okay, what about you? I had to disagree here. I think um, Houston is going to pull this one out. I think mm -hmm. Deshaun Watson um, is having a great year, possible Rookie of the Year candidate. Mm -hmm. um, but with the Legion of Boom, like you said, he's going to throw some interceptions. I mean, he's been throwing interceptions all season. It's kind of his weak point, but I think he'll be able to keep his composure, and I think he'll be able to lead the Texans and help pull it out. Yeah, he's going to have to deal with the 12th man, though, and that's the big thing for me. But I think he's going to do it. I think mm -hmm. Deshaun Watson's going to lead that team into Seattle. It's going to be a close game because that's most games Seattle plays are normally close. Yeah. And I think that he's just going to – it's about time they get one of those close games or they like something happens for them because they've lost a couple of close ones. They lost to Brady earlier this year, and that was a heartbreaker because oh, yeah. Deshaun Watson played well. But I think Deshaun Watson is here to stay in this league. He's definitely mm – -hmm. and I mean, I'm a Gamecock fan. That's tough to say. But I, he's definitely fun to watch and I think that they're going to take that one, and it's really going to be their coming out party. Now the next game is two teams that haven't really played too well, but they haven't played poorly yet this year, as Dallas travels all the way to D.C. for that ever-so-fun rivalry game. Mm -hmm. Joe, who do you think is going to win? Um, yeah, like you said, both these teams, they've looked good at times, mm -hmm. and they've also not looked good yeah. at times. Um, the Redskins ha had a pretty tough fought game last week against the Eagles, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, they also beat Oakland. Yeah. And so they also, they just um, had their good good spots and bad spots. And the same thing can be said for Dallas. They're coming off a, a big win, but it's 49ers. <laughs> so, um, but with all that, and then you have the Ezekiel Elliott drama that's been going on. But I do think that um, Washington is a little bit of a better team right now. Mm -hmm. And so I think they will pull this one out. Um, I am gonna go with the Cowboys mm -hmm. here. Uh, they had a really good game last week, put up a lot of points. I'll be in uh, against the 49ers. <laughs> well, <laughs> points are points. Yeah. NFL teams, I think every NFL team is talented on some degree. Mm -hmm. That's what, I mean, they're being paid to be professional football players. <laughs> yeah. So um, it'll be a competitive game. I don't mm -hmm. think it's, they'll win as comfortably, mm -hmm. um, but I do think Dallas will be able to pull this one out. Yeah, I think it's going to be a tough game. It's one of those games that could go either way. It's really mm -hmm. almost like a flip of a coin. But I do think the edge goes to Washington because it's at home, uh, purely because DC. I mean, the Redskins have played pretty well at home. Mm -hmm. um, they lost to the Eagles week one, but other than that, they've looked strong uh, against teams that they weren't favored to win. I think this is going to be a close game, as it always is, and I think uh, Kirk Cousins is going to finally have that one moment this season where it's down the stretch and he does perform and get them that win. 
Now, uh, moving on, we're going to go to Detroit, where uh, Pittsburgh is going to play the Lions. So, guys, who do you think is going to win this one? Yeah, um, all year I've, I've had this, this game circled on my calendar. <laughs> um, I think this is going to be a really good game. Um, Detroit had that fast start, and they had those couple losses. Um, Pittsburgh is kind of the same way. They're, they're kind of hot right now um, within the AFC. But I, I do think Detroit is going to win this game. I mm -hmm. think Matthew Stafford is going to finally have a complete game, and he's going to um, take care of Pittsburgh. I have to agree with Joe there. Uh, Matthew Stafford is coming off that mega contract, and he's played up to par mm -hmm. uh, so far this season. I think that momentum is going to carry. Um, I think the Lions will come out with the win over Pittsburgh. I'm a huge Matthew Stafford fan, but in this game, I'm actually going to go with Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh is going to come into Detroit and show up. They're really going to show why they're one of the best teams in the AFC. And they've been struggling so far, but I really think they're going to put it together and take this game. Now, the last game we're going to talk about is the Broncos going into Arrowhead to play the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, who do you guys think is going to win this Monday night matchup? Yeah, I kind of alluded to this earlier, <laughs> but um, I do think Kansas City is going to win. Um, Monday night in Arrowhead, I mean, that's <laughs> always tough. Uh, and like I said earlier, Denver just doesn't have an offense right mm -hmm. now and hasn't for about the past two years. <laughs> and so I think... Um, Kansas City right now is the AFC uh, favorite to go to the Super Bowl, and I think they're going to um, continue to um, they're going to get back on their their winning ways after two uh, pretty tough losses the past week two weeks. Yeah, I have to agree with Joe there. Um, Arrowhead gets really loud really quick, mm -hmm. and it's hard to get them quiet. So the Broncos are going to have to execute quickly, and like they're going to have to score touchdowns. They can't they can't settle for three. They got to go for touchdowns. They have to keep that crowd quiet. I don't think they'll be able to do that, though. Um, maybe their defense can attempt to stop Kareem Hunt, um, but those guys are looking good right now. But they, they're they coming off that devastating loss to the Raiders, so I think they'll have some add some fuel to their fire, and they'll be at home in front of however many fans are there. They're notorious for being loud, um, so I think Kansas City wins this one. Yeah, I agree. It's, I agree with you guys. It's Kansas City all around. I do think Denver is going to give them a run for their money because it is a divisional game, and it could go both ways, but I just have more faith in Alex Smith and Andy Reid in that one. Um, but uh, trying something a little bit new, uh, who do you guys think is on upset alert this week? Like, it, it can be from a game we haven't picked so far, it can mm -hmm. be from a game we picked so far, but who do you think is going to win that's not favored to win? Yeah, um, I actually have, like I said earlier, the Lions over the Steelers. <laughs> Um, yeah, for the reasons. Is that I, an upset? I mean, <laughs> they are at home. No, I'm just giving you yeah. a hard time. But um, but no, just like I said earlier, I think Ma Matthew Stafford's going to finally um, have that complete game, and they're going to take care of business. Take care of business. All right. <laughs> what uh, about you? I as well have made this pick: uh, the Texans going over the Seahawks. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, the 12th man gets really loud. Uh, that stadium is designed to be loud, so. Um, it's going to be tough for a rookie quarterback to play in, but I do think Deshaun Watson pulls it out. Interesting. I mean, I agree with I agreed with your pick earlier, and I disagree with yours. But my upset, I'm going to go bold on something not on the list. Thanks, guys. And mm -hmm. I'm going to say the Chargers over the Patriots. I mean, the Chargers have played great the last three weeks. They, <laughs> they're uh, three. They've won three straight games, and the Patriots, yes, they've won two games, but they haven't been able to put it together for a long period of time. So I'm going to say that the Chargers are going to beat the Patriots and just out, flat out outscore them. Now uh, we're going to send it on over to Matt Boombaka and Derek Rush for the Fantasy Football Update.